everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you easy way of retouching photos so how to do that and i'll show you full process step by step so at first i used here something so let's see what i have done here so here at first the things like that so i used a skin finer that is the plugins of the photoshop and i just made it like that smooth the skin and then i used a dodge burn process for the shadow and highlighting used here a new layer for the enhance the eye colors and then again i just copied that layer and i just made those things like opposite down and up and then the lips color so i made the like a uh, blending mode to multiply and reduce the fill color and opacity like that and used a color like color code which is the color filter by using the from the adjustment layer the solid color and i'm saving that color code for you guys and i'll give you that color code to you and then i just merged it out and use a cross processing from the nick collection and finally i got this result so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and open up here is my stock image i downloaded this one from devina.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description so this one is stock image here is lots of like a uh, scare and like and press ctrl j for the new layer of the copy of this layer and go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer skin finer is a plugins for the photoshop and skin retouching and if you want to get this download link please check out my video description from here i used here the things like that and there is the amount of smoothing and here is the fining options and it will be made like that and all the things will be like this so even saturation that is the skin tone i'm collapsing this one so skin tone i'll use like that hue a little bit red type here yeah that's good and the saturation i'll make it a little bit down and the brightness i'll increase yeah a little bit increase the contrast i'll make the contrast like that and the shadow i add some shadow like that and brightness i'll decrease that brightness and highlight decrease the highlight and adjust the brightness like that so let's see the before one and after one so this portion the before one and the after one you're getting like that so hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so before one and after one so that's fine and now press ctrl j and j to copy of this layer now i will apply the shadow and highlighting this one is the highlight layer that's why this one is h and shadow for is that's fine turn off the s or shadow layer and select the highlight layer go to the blending mode make it screen and right press blending options from here here is the underlining layer and find out the highlighted area of the face and lips press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face and hit ok so mask it and then go to the image and apply image and then hit ok so you are getting one layer that is the highlight layer turn on the shadow layer and go to the blending mode and make it multiply and then mask it before that you have to go to the right press and blending options from here find out the shadow of the face like that yeah that's fine press the alter button and divide this one and adjust the shadow with the face and hit ok and then mask it and go to the image and apply image but in this case make it invert and hit ok so select these two things or two layers make it group and then mask it and apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you are getting subtle change shadow and highlighting prominent options so after that take a new blank layer and the color which is like aqua type color so here the color code i'll provide you or you can use that color code your own so that's fine here just i'm copying that and pasting over here for you guys and then go to the brush tool and make the brush size like that select the brush that is the first one brush and brush size 100 pixel and make sure that this one is checked and the mode is normal and then select 
once and check it out the opacity and flow is 100% and select once here and select once here so after that go to the blending mode and make it overlay so press ctrl j again and reduce the fill color like that so our eye just enhanced so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so select all the things and after that go to the adjustment layer and solid color now i'll give that color code which is i copied from my previous editing and paste here and hit ok then go to the blending mode and make it soft light so you're getting a crispy look for this photo so select all the layers and make it merge and then go to the filter and the uh, like a uh, camera raw filter from here i'll add just something like a shadow highlighting and other stuffs like uh, de-highlight this one a little bit and add some whites like that and increase the amount of sharpening so like that and luminance of noise reduction it will make more sense and from here reduce the luminance of red color and the orange color increase yellow increase and aqua the luminance increase and saturation as well and hit ok so before one was like that after one you're getting like that now i will add some uh, like a color in this portion so take a new blank layer and then go to the brush tool and select color from here and i'll make it like this yeah that's fine make it a little bit like that so you can choose color from here so after that just brush over here so when you're brushing don't make it like uh, it's going to outside so if you want to make the brushes smaller make it like that yeah that's fine so that's good and go to the blending mode and make it multiply and then just make the fill color like that yeah that's fine and press like that so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that you can adjust the opacity and everything so that's good yeah and select two things and make it group and make it merge now i will apply the preset from the nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of the uh, like a nick collection color effects pro 4 please check out my video description from here i'm using the cross processing here and lots of filter and method over here you can use one of them so i'm using the l02 and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and apply the preset on your photo and give you the final output and then go to the adjustment and go to the levels from here i'll adjust the light properly so yeah that's fine so let's see the before one before one was like that normal ordinary image and spot in a face like uh, age spot blemishes like that and you are getting like nice look tan skin and over like that uh, like full package of retouching so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you want to get the download link and other stuffs and resource file please check out my video description if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye